Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Thali Bakada. Let's take a look at the headlines first. A promise from the President to foreign employment agencies. Vinyana Sara Thera granted bail. Hirunika released on bail. Jeevan Thunderman to be arrested. Aturugiriya shooting suspects to court. A shooting attack on a married couple in Midania. President Ronil Vikramasinghe announced that foreign employment agencies exploring new business opportunities can receive support through the Ministry of Tourism. Speaking at the Abhiman 2024 event in Kurunagala, he emphasized that the main goal is to attract tourists from countries where Sri Lankan workers are employed, particularly in the Middle East. The Colombo High Court today granted bail to the General Secretary of the Bodhubala Sena, Ven Galaguda Atte Nyanasara Thera, as ordered by the Court of Appeal. Colombo High Court Judge Aditya Patabandige issued the order to grant bail to Ven Nyanasara Thera, who was earlier sentenced to four years of rigorous imprisonment. Former parliamentarian Hirunika Premachandra, who was sentenced to a three-year jail term in connection with an abduction case in 2015, was granted bail today by the Colombo High Court pending appeal. Colombo High Court Judge Amal Ranaraja ordered the release of Hirunika Premachandra on a cash bail of 50,000 rupees, with two sureties of 500,000 rupees each. In addition, a travel ban was imposed on the accused. The acting magistrate of Noura Elia has instructed the Noura Elia police to arrest and produce Ceylon Workers' Congress General Secretary Minister Jeevan Thondaman to court. Thondaman accused of taking the law into his own hands, behaving disorderly and threatening police officers and management at a Noura Elia tea estate on May 31st. Noura Elia police had summoned Thondaman and other suspects to appear in court today regarding the incident. The seven suspects, including the owner of the tattoo shop, who were remanded in connection with the shooting incident that left two dead and four injured at an Athurugiriya tattoo centre, were brought to the Kaduala Magistrates Court under tight security today. They were transported in a special prison bus accompanied by security from the Police Special Task Force. A shooting occurred on the Galpottera Jalampiti Road within the Middenia Police jurisdiction. The target was a local council candidate from the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, who was shot while closing his shop and heading home on a motorcycle with his wife. Both were admitted to the Middenia Hospital for treatment. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You were with me, Thaliba Khader. For more information, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk.